Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Mr. B Cooks. Subscribers, you know I appreciate you coming back. New viewers, you guys should become subscribers. To today, I'm gonna make an apple stuffed chicken uh, and I'm gonna fry it. I've got four chicken breasts that I've already flattened out with my mallet. If you don't have one of these, use a uh, can of vegetables or whatever, it'll work just fine. Just put it in some wax paper, pound it down, and you'll be good to go. Now, with that, I've got a nice little bit of flour right here. So I'm gonna lay this on. And then I've got my apple mixture, because remember, we're making stuffed chicken. So, about three tablespoons of granola that I crushed up really good. Uh, one red delicious apple, about medium size, and about hmm, three tablespoons of shredded cheddar cheese. This is a, a sharp cheddar, but use what you like. And I'm just gonna try to just put a little layer on there. Nothing too crazy. And then, since we've already got it put in the flour, which we need for the egg wash, I'm just gonna roll her up. Like so. Pretty easy. Uh, and then I'm gonna stick this with some toothpicks after I clean my hands. Okay, nothing too fancy here. I just wanna make sure that they're gonna hold together. So. Just push two through, and I'm making sure that they stick out a bit so that I can see them so we can pull them, because you don't want somebody to get a bite on those and be chewing on a toothpick. Once you have that, I have two eggs and eh, about maybe half a cup or so of just whole milk to make an egg milk. I'm just gonna grab this guy up, put it in, give it a quick roll, and then straight from that, into some panko breadcrumbs. And it's just a light bread, you know, it's, the panko's are light breading anyways. Just gonna get a little bit of a crunch on it. That's it, I'm gonna do the other ones and then we'll proceed to fry. All right, there you go. Four uh, rolled chicken breasts, stuffed with that apple mixture that we put together and breaded in a panko breadcrumb. Over here, I got uh, a bit of olive oil going and a bit of butter to help the burning point and to add some flavor. And you can hear it's already cooking up, so I'm just gonna set these in. This is a very light set. I'm just gonna get them a good brown and then we'll put them in the oven to finish them off so that they're cooked. I preheated the oven to 350 degrees and we'll cook them in there for probably 15, 20 minutes just to make sure that they're all the way cooked through because nobody wants an undone piece of chicken. All right, you can see that I've browned up uh, both sides and cleaned up the bottoms a little bit. Um, like I said, this is a quick light uh, breading, so it's not gonna be a real thick breading. Now, just to make sure that we cook everything all the way through, oven is on 350. I'm gonna put it in there for about 10 to 15 minutes. I just want to make sure that uh, I get it cooked thoroughly through. So we're just going to slide right in, all as is. And we'll see you in 10. All right, it's been about 14 minutes. It smells delicious. And I know it's definitely done. Take that out. This guy right here. Good. Remember I said toothpicks. One, two. Always good to know how many toothpicks you got in there. Let me get a knife. Straight down. And that's it. Looks delicious. You can see all the apples and the nice layers of the chicken. And a little bit of the melted cheese. There you go, well. Apple stuffed chicken, or apple cheddar stuffed chicken if you so choose. Remember the stuffing that I used was apples, granola, and cheddar. But you can switch that up to whatever you desire. The rest of it's pretty simple and straightforward. Go crazy with it. Let me know what alterations you make. Otherwise, subscribe, share, like, comments down below. Let me know how it turns out and all that good stuff. Otherwise, check back for the next video, and as always, take care.